Southwest RV. This is the Cedar Creek Champagne front kitchen with six slide outs. This is the outdoor television. This is a 32 inch. You can get up to about a 40 inch in there if you like. You have slide toppers on all the slide outs. And then you also have your large awning to come out over the slide out so you can enjoy your patio area. A rear molded cap. And it also has a little receiver hitch down here for bicycles or pulling a golf cart. It's just a small one inch. Ladder on the back. In this slide out, you have a little bit of storage space on the outside. This one's a kind of a small. Over here, we have an access panel for servicing your, your plumbing. The bathroom is right behind here. You also have an endless wa hot water heater, an on-demand hot water heater, and the furnace. And this is all in the back. All in the back of the bathroom. You have a 50 amp electric cookup. That's detachable. It points out low point drains and fresh water drains for when you're, if you're going to winterize it. You guys probably won't winterize it. In here are utility hookups and this is for adjustments on the hydraulic slide outs. You have your outdoor shower and on in here you can hook up for satellite television. There is a battery disconnect, front cat light switches. You have the hose for the vacuum cleaner and a power reel to, to reel up your power cord that's on the back there. It's kind of a heavy one, so that's nice. And then there's an LCI in-command panel. And that is Access, outside access. There are a couple of those on this unit. Uh, that's for accessing your leveling system, your awnings. You can do all, all your adjustments out here. Here's another auto level control in case you don't want to have to reach in and, and use the LCI on command. You can use this manual one. You just press auto level. It'll level this whole unit out with a six point leveler system. You have six of those to get you just perfect no matter what. This compartment has some slide out trays here to hold your batteries. We do give batteries with this coach. They don't, the manufacturer does not send them down so we put them on just before it goes out for delivery. Up on the front side, we have another large storage compartment here, and this is the case to hold the generator. This unit is generator prepped. It has a place inside where you, you can push start from the inside. All you got to do is put a generator in here and wire it into the wiring harness. It's already there. Air ride pin box makes it ride smooth and handle nicely as you're going down the highway. Give you a little bit of a shot here so that you don't fill all the bumps of the road. We have another one in here. And this is the other access to the, the storage compartment I showed you from the other side. It goes all the way across. If you look inside, you can see that it has a power inverter. It has, it's lighted. It's nicely finished off. There you go. This can 
compartment is just your propane tanks. There's a couple of 30 gallon propane tanks there. So this is the outside of the Cedar Creek Champagne Edition. And now we'll go take a look at the inside. So now welcome to the inside of the Cedar Creek Champagne Edition. The first thing you're going to see is on the wall here, we have dimmer switches. So it, you can set your mood lighting for the kitchen or the living room. These switches are light switches for the ceiling, kind of standard. You have your thermostat for Dometic here and controls for your fan. Inside this compartment, I told you a little about the LCI screen. So this, this screen here controls all the lighting. Here's the awning light. We'll turn that on, we'll turn that off at the awning slide outs, kitchen slide outs. You can control everything from this one panel. This is a uh, even has a generator start. Here's your generator start right right here. So it's wired all the way through. Uh, power control system. This helps because this unit has a, does have three air conditioners, doesn't it? Or is it just two? But it conditions the power so that you don't have to worry about throwing breakers. It converts the power where it needs to be. Come on in to the living area. And you can see you have a spacious, nice amount of room, opposing couches, and a very nice four foot wide fireplace. Here's your built in sound bar. You have some accent lightings, lighting around to show up behind the cabinets, cabinets with little lights in here pretty. Ceiling fan. And you can see the colors of the wood. It's a much lighter color than the Hathaway. It's a uh, kind of it's got grays and browns in there. And the big wow factor of this fifth wheel is this huge kitchen. Counter space on all sides. You can have more than one person working in here. And nobody's going to run into each other. You have nice little toe kick lights for night lights. And you have a wine cooler, your microwave, plenty of windows around. Counter space next to the refrigerator and that is your large residential refrigerator. You have, you can, just like your home, have plenty of room in there. The kitchen, the stove, this, the stove's Furium. And it's kind of nice because you can be working in the kitchen doing the dishes and look down over into the living area. And now we will go back into the bathroom area. To give you the most space possible, it does have a sliding door. 
You have a nice large shower. And right next to the bathroom is this very large, spacious bedroom. Plenty of lights, accent lights around, and this is where your washer and dryer closet is. And you have plenty of storage here in this closet as well, as well as drawers. And these go all around the coach. Nice comfy bed with some accent lights. You have the ports to charge your cell phones, tables. And there's also a heater in every bedroom of a Cedar Creek, Champagne, or Hathaway. Just a little extra one to keep the bedroom a little bit warmer. You won't have to use the main furnace as much. Well, the fireplace keeps it nice and toasty in here. Awesome. All right, and this is the Cedar Creek Champagne Edition front kitchen. And we'll sign off.